and thank God we have audio. Okay, so it'll be in two streams. I'll uh, I'll download it and cut them together. It'll be nice, and you know, I'll put it so you won't notice the uh, break there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, I mean, again, really learning how to use this, Chris. It's crazy, but it's awesome. It's awesome because I'm showing right now. You're talking, and John McCain, his face is there while I'm talking, oh and you God. and you see me. I don't know. I guess I'm probably. I don't know. People out there, would you rather look at my face in the uh, corner here or uh, uh, Mr. McCain's face? And he's such a liar. I mean, it's just disgusting. And here he goes, lying and lying again, stating that there are troops on the ground. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Um, it's Because they're, they're, they're really, they're so wrapped up in their own worlds, as you know, uh, uh, Chris. You know, that we have this uh, dumbed-down society with a dumbed-down education system, with a dumbed-down fluoride. Now, let's talk about the fluoride, because I, I want to give uh, uh, Jim Russell his due here. I'm going to jump ahead as we talk about this. Now, um, the fluoride situation in Connecticut is getting this stuff out of the water is real important. Now... For folks that are not aware, I'm going to play again a short clip from a doctor who's talking about um, about this very s specific thing. And uh, if we have any time, I would then like to talk about the weapons, these, these uh, weapons that are being used against us, um, and anything else that you want to crop up. I know you had mentioned... Uh, talking about the, uh, whoops, wrong place, went a little too far, sorry about that, um, and reporters having neurological disorders and stuff like that, it's real interesting, I have a couple of uh, little clips from that, um, dangers of fluoride in drinking water, here, this is what I'd like everybody to listen to just for a minute, most, most of, of us grew up with the idea and that the idea fluoride is, uh, better teeth. And health officials believe that putting fluoride in water is one of the top 10 public health accomplishments of the last century. But new studies now say that too much fluoride is damaging the teeth of more than one in three teens. So for the first time in nearly 50 years, the federal government is reversing course and recommending less fluoride in water. Here's Ron Claymore. Ever since the 1940s, fluoride has been artificially added to drinking water to help fight tooth decay. It's been credited with reducing cavities by up to 50%. But even then, there were critics who complained about injecting a chemical into drinking water. Abuse satirized in the 1960s movie, Dr. Strangelove. What do you think about that? Well, that would explain the reason why a lot of 30-year-old people I know have no teeth. That's right. Now, let's keep going. Now, can you hear this a little better? Can you, can you hear this enough to comment on it? Yeah, I can comment on it. It's kind of interesting, though, that uh, the court said that the federal government wants to reduce the amount of fluoride, right? Which has me worried is, what are they going to use as a substitute? Uh, because you know the New World Order, the third, they're all about population reduction, okay? Fluoride is part of the whole eugenic population reduction agenda. So if they're going to remove fluoride, what are they going to put in its head? You know, you made a very good point, Chris. What what would they replace it with exactly? I mean, I that's that's terrifying. I got I, I got the answer, Howard. What is it? Well, there, we already know that they already have uh, that. There's already um, the fluoride is basically put in Prozac. I mean, that's what Prozac is is fluoride, right? You're in the medical field. Yeah, and they're going to be putting medication like clonazepam, Rivotril. Uh, there's even talk of morphine. And when once morphine gets into your system and it breaks out, it turns into cocaine, basically, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what they're going to be putting in our drinking water. It's only a matter of time. It's, it's already being done. The fact that we even know about it and we're talking about it, the fact is that it's already being done as we speak. Wow, that's unbelievable. Okay. That much I, I didn't know about the the uh, I didn't know about putting no I knew I knew they put other antidepressants and and uh, psychotropic drugs in the water, but I didn't know they were putting heroin and stuff. You know, turning to coke. You know. Yeah, what better way to get people hooked? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Put it in their food. Put it. In, it's like it's like RFID chips. They put it. 
Yeah. What we've been talking about for the past few years, putting it in our medication, it's being done. For sure it's being done. If we're talking about it, it's being done. Now, they're, they're, don't forget, these people, these evil Luciferian people are years ahead of us when it comes to planning their agendas and executing them. And what, once we get wind of it, it's already being done. Yes, exactly. Well, that's the whole thing. That's why I scream about the Club of Rome all the time, and you know, and Aurelio Passe and and Jacques Cousteau and all these eugenicists that that we all look up to because that's what the, he had. He was a he was an oceanographer. He made cool movies, right? You know, I mean, it's this it's this mind control on top of the fact that nobody really wants to face the truth. What speak on that a little bit, Chris? What do you think about that? About people don't want to face the truth. Well, they're so comfortable wrapped up in their lives that they think, oh, if it doesn't affect me, then it doesn't really matter. But you know what? You don't but it does affect you. Because the water they drink is the same water that we drink. That's right. And the same air they breathe is the same air we breathe. That's right. So it does affect them. Whether they want to believe it or not, or they, they choose to be apathetic about it, it does not really matter because the truth and the bottom line is it's affecting them. They're not comfortable in their lives. And right. no matter how much they try to hide behind it or stay in the closet, it's going to get to them. You think like when FEMA comes, okay? Like, you know, I was talking to people who are not really awake, and they'll be like, all oh, those crazy conspiracy theorists, when they get locked up, you know, it's going to be this for them. Well, what do you think is going to happen to them? Like, they're not going to get locked up because they become slaves. Right. Wow. So, you know, that, that's the world we live in, unfortunately. Uh, but before we go on, do you mind if I give a shout out to a couple of people that I haven't spoken to in about seven months who may be listening? Well, I think that's the most important thing, man. We're trying to bring out, I, again, I, I got, I, this whole broadcast was sort of like, uh, cut and, it's going to be like cut and pasted. So absolutely, man, tell anyone you want to call out to. Seven months is a long time. Is this the first show you've been on since you've been, uh, away? Yeah, first one, man. Wow. Well, thank you. I take the honor because it truly is. And, right. um. You know, Howard. The honor is online. Well, thank you, brother. Yeah, so a big shout out to uh, Hardcore Harry Link out there, who is at www.e2nwo.com. A uh, good friend, listen to his show. Uh, Pam Thug, who's always been uh, one of me during my attack by COINTELPRO and British um, spies, if you will. I, I like to call them. Uh, Wanda Graham, as well, over there in Texas. Uh, what's the other one that's watching me? <laughs> I forget. Um, oh, Wanda Hodo and Justin Cook. Uh, yeah, they're right here in, in Connecticut. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, Tim Swayze, a bunch of other people out there uh, who all supported me, as well as Pete Howard. And, uh, by the way, just to let people know, I am not on Facebook or any other social media, and I haven't been for seven months. So right, let everybody know about what they do to you, Chris. Yeah. We didn't talk about this at all. And, uh, Harry, I, I, I hate to uh, go over, but we should go over a couple of minutes, and if you want to chime in on Skype or anything, please do. Um, you can, of course, because uh, we are at 10 o'clock, but, Chris, you got to get some of this information out. we got to go over time a little. I know I blew most of the yeah. time. But uh, let, let's just uh, just keep going forward there, Chris. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I've been attacked as many, many people know for the past few years, primarily. And, and it got worse when I started doing radio. And it all started with these uh, British intelligence individuals. Uh, I don't know if I should name their name on air or not. You know, I don't know. Well, it's your discretion. Probably better not to, the way I understand things yeah. these days. But yeah. So then you were attacked yeah. until until we can like get some clarification. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but let's just say that, uh, you know, they're not very good people. They like to copy Facebook accounts, make accounts in your name, same with Twitter. And even to this day, even though I haven't been on any social media in seven months, there's still Chris Freedom Flowers accounts out there that are not mine. And they're posting so, every day, Chris, look at this, look at that. I look at your account. I, I do look at your account, which is a phony account. And I think, actually, Tim White might have created it. Who the hell knows? Because he uses that picture that you posted, that dumb picture. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's like, you know, it's a, you know, like, they're, they're trying to, like, make fun of you, you know? You get an attack, bro. Yeah, what? Yeah, your Halloween, it's a, but, but you know something? It's used out of context, Chris. I know it was your Halloween, and it was funny. But they're using this particular picture, and I'm not going to go into what it is. I don't want to go to their level. But it sounds like I'm something. Flattered. What? I'm flattered. It shows, it shows how good looking I look, you know? Actually, you do look good. If you were a woman, I would definitely date you, yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. 
man. I look good in my girl. You looked good in drag. Speaking of drag, yeah, isn't nice. Timothy <laughs> Patrick White a cross-dressing, uh, you know, I, well, he's obviously a, a, a pretty good felon, but, you know, with, they, fa they found uh, porno, uh, child porn and stuff, but they never charged him with it. He was charged with five years. He got in prison, but he spent like four months, or I think it was four years, but he spent five months in prison. He, he got a deal. They gave him a deal, and he was going after you in, in 2007, right? Yeah, about four years ago, he went after me because I started uh, exposing certain shows. What were you exposing? Uh, which I got, yeah, well, I was exposing these British intelligence uh, disinformation shows that are part of the uh, British version of the New World Order. They have they own large companies, Alpha Houses, and the like. So I started posting about it with evidence. And uh, so this character, they're white, you know, uh, I don't even want to say it's twisted, but Oh, he probably is. He calls me all the time. He harasses me on occasion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, uh, you're not a true Canadian, blah, blah, blah. You wouldn't do that if you were. I'm like, well, who the hell are you? You know, you tell me what to do. No, I'm a true speaker. It's part of what I do. And it just like to him just basically harassed me for a few months. So I blocked him, and I started posting stuff on him. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, he is, uh, he is definitely a menace. And um, I know that uh, I, Barbara Hartwell would have liked to have joined us, but she's uh, you know she's unable to to join us tonight. But we definitely will all get on air and speak of this. Certainly, when you're on the Skype, I, um, we're moving in a new direction here. Um, it's going to be awesome, Chris. And I'm so glad that the family is like intact here, so to speak. I mean, you were when you went off. You you told me seven months ago. You said you know just carry this. You know I can't. I I got to take a break. And uh, I did the best I could, but there's no way I could fill your shoes, bro. I mean, you were you were an inspiration to me, man. No, but you're an inspiration to me. I, I was. Uh, I if it wasn't for you, I can't. I can't stop saying this. I would not be on the air. You were the one that brought me. On, you were the one that said, Howard, you should do a radio show. Howard, you should incorporate your videos into the radio show. And look how it's worked. Now I am. I didn't even put my videos in so much, but I may have done that, but I may have. You know, brought to creative, but you're the one that carried it. You know what I'm saying? You're the yes. one that did the material, did the research, which everybody else should be doing, and you made it into a great success. You know, and not only that, but I'm sure you've woken up so many people, and, and that's on you, man. That's not on me. You know that. No, no, but it was like thank you for the forum, and you've woken up many, uh, people as well. My point is that um, our friendship flourished out of truth, and it's always been based on that. And we are we are attacked by the same individuals. And again, by the grace of God, my brother, that you know we've we've come we've crossed paths, and and I'm just glad that you're home, man. That's all I could say. And I'm um, looking forward to uh, a lot more uh, work with you. Uh, I've got some other things we'll talk about, and uh, we there's some amazing stuff going. Why don't you talk about what your plans are for uh, for uh, broadcasting in the last in the next couple of minutes before we uh, we we uh, have Harry Link and Death to the New World Order here on TruthBroadcastNetwork.com. Well, upon my return, which will be hopefully within the next few weeks, um, I'm going to be resuming basically what I've been doing all along, both in the life of spreading the truth, and I'm going to go uh, much more deeper into the history of the Illuminati, which a lot of truth seekers uh, don't do enough research on, uh, in my opinion. And I'm going to be getting delving more into technology, how it's used against us. Like, for example, every time somebody sees a UFO in the sky, they think it's a helium powered, you know, vehicle, which... It's not the case. It's our own technology being used against us. You know, part of Project Blue Beam. So I'll be exposing uh, that. I'll be talking more about politics. And uh, I'm going to be doing more show exposing. I'm not going to stop doing that. I'm never going to stop doing that. I'm going to continue the fight. And um, basically, just keep doing what I do best, man, and that's the truth. That's it, brother. And God bless you. And, and again, I'm just happy that you're home and... Uh... Uh, we'll be knocking them dead, and I'm I'm going to try to make my way north this uh, this season if I can. Uh, I am uh, I do have a couple of trips I'll be taking, and maybe I can even make it up there. Uh, I know we talked about it. I I would just uh, I would just really like to try to get together, and um, well, we'll talk about other things. It's just amazing that I'm just so glad that you're back. I mean, I got to tell you to be honest. Uh, I think maybe that you sort of drove me to the level that I've done. I mean, I have people that have said that I'm like, quote unquote, you know, obsessed or whatever, but I don't see that at all. I just feel it motivated by the fact that you sort of like gave up something that was really important that needed to be done 
And I feel as though um, I needed to continue in your path. And it's the same path. We're on the same path in the same boat, on the same ocean, going on the same journey. And um, I'm just glad because uh, we'll, I'm not going to reduce my efforts, but now we can have that same power with another voice that is just so spoken for truth and not about this so bullshit. That, that, that awesome power with Mr. Flowers. The power of Chris Freedom Flowers. And that's exactly that's right. it. Listen, thank you, Chris, for joining us. And thank you, uh, how, uh, uh, Harry, uh, for letting us go over a little bit here on truthbroadcastnetwork.com. We now have Harry Link and Death to the New World Order. Go to hell, Harry. Later, Howard.